Hi, I'm Mark DiPietro. I'm a professor of theater and speech here at Siena Heights University, and I'm the chair of the Division of Visual and Performing Arts. That's a division that houses art, music, and theater. And we're very proud of our arts here at Siena Heights University. In fact, so proud of them that we have built this new complex. It's the Spencer Complex Performing Arts Center. And right now I'm in the new theater. This new theater is completely state of the art. Everything in it is up to date, brand new, uh, computerized everything. Great new light booth, sound system. We have about 350 seats in here, a full fly system as well. And that gives our students the opportunity to work exactly the kind of theater they would work in professional life, especially in New York. So we're very happy with our new theater. Currently, we're working on Young Frankenstein, the Mel Brooks musical, and we're tremendously excited about that as well. It'll be the first show in our new space, even though our grand opening will be this fall in October. We have students all over the country that have graduated from Siena Heights and are working in live theater, film, television, and we have some great talent up and coming right here in Young Frankenstein many from Toledo, many from Northern Michigan, and we also have many other students who are just uh, tremendously great singers. They perform regularly at the Croswell in their summers. They go off to work professionally during the summer, and they come back to us, their artistic home, where they're receiving their bachelor's degree in theater and musical theater. Hi, I'm Tara Ann Althaus. We are at the Spencer Performing Arts Building at Siena Heights University, and I am playing Inga in Young Frankenstein. I really love this musical because I was a fan of the film um, before I ever auditioned for this, and it's very, very similar to the original Mel Brooks movie. I really like being Inga. It's been a challenge because I've had to work on my German accent as well as my yodeling. That's not a talent I had before. <laughs> but I love it because she's supposed to be kind of like the ditzy assistant, but she's actually really smart, so she gets to break that stereotype, and that's always a fun role to do. Elizabeth Benning is definitely not a part that I'm used to playing. It's a lot quirkier and not doesn't really fall into like the ingenue category. It's really fun and um, exciting and she's just she's just a very bubbly personality and she's a lot and I just it's a lot of fun to just kind of like get in there and do like the very quirky flirtatious um, like like not ingenue personality she's kind of just like her own element you know like nothing that I've done at Sienna specifically like she's very she's very different than anything I've had the opportunity to do um, even this year. This role is immensely fun, although it is challenging because I don't get a whole lot of lines. It's a lot of grunts and moans throughout the whole show until the, maybe the very end, like in the movie, classic Mel Brooks movie. It's been a lot of fun just to play the character and bring him to life from the books and the films and everything. I mean, obviously, Boris Karloff is amazing at this role, but I'm hoping to... Mark has been my professor for three years now. He has been immense help with the history of the, just the character and helping me find bits and pieces that are funny and making sense of the writing, which has been amazing. We've always had a reputation of involving our community in our productions. We have people from all over coming to see them, and we wish to continue that. We're going to continue it with this building. We're going to continue it by the productions that we do. We're going to give our students the future of theater as well as working on the classics of the past. That way we can prepare them for a better life in theater and our community can enjoy the fruits of their labor as well.